As education is a fundamental human right and a key tool for Africa's socio-economic development, most African countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, amongst others, are committed to transforming the education system into one that is adapted to the needs of today's world. Some African countries will have no upper secondary completion rate for girls from disadvantaged backgrounds. Hence, the AU's 2024 theme, Educating an Africa Fit for the 21st Century, building resilient education systems for increased access to inclusive quality and relevant lifelong learning in Africa, reports the AU Commission. If I were a minister of education today, I would have every year to go and negotiate with my president and with my prime minister to get a budget allocation. And Usually, what I get in the budget allocation is never enough. Uh, the government has, has a certain basket, and it has to share that basket between all the sectors. Meanwhile, most governments in its 2024 fiscal policy and budget statement has only allocated 14.5% to the education sector, which is shy from the 15% sub-Saharan African average and about 6% short of the international benchmark minimum of 20%. Africa currently has an estimated school age population of 500 million. However, almost 100 million of them aged between 5 and 19 do not go to school and turn to immigration. 15% of the national budget should go to education. But, but sometimes it is not easy even to have the, those 15% because there are other problems or because they don't have enough, enough money to afford for everything. UNESCO highlights the recent experience of Burundi, which brought the number of out-of-school children down from 723,000 in 1999 to just 10,000 in 2023. Over the same period, Burundi increased its investment in education from 3.2% of GDP to 8.3%, a significant change which, according to the institution, must boost other African nations.